Hello everyone, welcome back to our coverage of the Genesis Invitational right here on 2K Sports. We're picking up the action at the third. Let's get going. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, they might be able to get a good look at this. It's uh, sitting pretty good here in the first cut. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Judging it beautifully. Okay, so that finishes that hole. He's currently tied for fifth. Teeing off here at the fourth. Going with a three wood here. attention folks that's how you play golf what an opportunity to make a birdie oh so close and with that you can go and put a par on the card let's take a look at the leaderboard our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. This is from miles away. Ooh, right by the hole. And tapping it in for par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Well, he tried to fade it in there, but just didn't commit to it. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Currently a couple under for the round. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Well 
done. To the top five he goes. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Currently leads this one. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. This one's bunker bound. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Make this putt. He'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. Wow, that's classy. Good save from there. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. That one was fired out of a cannon. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. close was that to going in the hole great shot this one just outside seven feet to the hole ouch that hurts this one's for bogey it's got a chance now it's a good putt to hold for a bogey matt kuchar is at top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead one of the most often discussed holes in all of golf is the par 4 10th here at Riviera Ridge. There's so much strategy. It's either driver or three wood for every player in this field, but you better be good with distance because this green is very narrow. No, oh, no, is that heading towards the bunker? Oh, he's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? And that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And Matt Kuchar looking for multiple wins this season, currently leading here. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. What a gargantuan tee shot. Playing from around 240 yards. Only one shot off the pace. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. 
Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. And top spot on the leaderboard to boot. Leading by a shot after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. This hole here is a par four. Second shot here on the 12th. Opting for the three wood. This one is heading to a really not so good space. And here we are with the third shot. setting up here with a very long putt. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. That was a gallant attempt. And this next putt, it's for Bogey. And that putt will drop. Well done. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Sitting at minus four. Currently tied for first place. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Well, oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Looks good off the blade. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Currently at minus four overall. We have a par three on this one. One's headed left. That's ah, a little wayward. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And yeah, that's well played. Safely onto the putting surface. Oh, that's good grit there. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. And that makes him tied for first. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. This one might roll into the rough. Five wins so far this season. Going with the hybrid. So I might need to sit. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Par putt coming up here. Yeah, we'll take that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 16th at Riviera Ridge is the last chance to get amongst the birdies on a par three. 
a breathtaking short par three, 166, and Island Green surrounded by bunkers. The perfect little fade. Man, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. Five feet coming up to the cup. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the power. Just one off the lead after that hole. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5, 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Quality shot, that one. This putt is about eight feet. Ooh. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Currently at minus four for the round. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome-looking second. Going with the seven. That might be one club too many. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And that'll be all she wrote. Well, Rich, I thought that day was an absolute doozy. And this player seems to be in decent shape, don't you think? Absolutely. Look, I've been impressed with their performance. Let's see how they progress through the tournament. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Here we are at the Genesis Invitational, one of the top events each year on the schedule. Today's coverage is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there, though, and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very conservative all week long, and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning. You have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions. Hit it close a few more times. And until they start doing that, I don't see them uh, catching the leaders.
It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Okay, steady now. Lining up the birdie putt here. They've made it. Off to a great start today. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And now teeing off on this par four hole. And our man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they're in the deep rough here. Um, but they ended up with a you know, pretty favorable lie, considering. Well, that should find the bunker. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Scorecard well hold. He's currently tied for third. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Teeing off here at the third hole. That should find the fairway. Five victories under their belt this season. And choosing the eight iron here. I'd say this needs to hit a house, but there's no houses in sight. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. And this one is for his par. He was on a good line. His next putt is for bogey and after that effort this is how the field is shaping up and a little slide down the leaderboard happening make sure you respond quickly and on the tee now coming off the bogey might have a bit of a sting in the tail i'd imagine Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Left yourself an opportunity. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Well, a bit long on that one. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Our current leader is up by three shots. We have a par four on this one. disappointing that one Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough yes difficult light made a par here yesterday a little bit more difficult today come on sit 
Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. If he makes this, he'll save his par. It's got a chance. That's well hold. Now five strokes behind. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. Opting for the four iron here. That was wonderfully done. Spot the all-important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. Tracking. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This is a par putt. And well hold. Let's move on. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. Second shot here on the seventh. Should find the green here. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Currently four under for the event. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. Keep focused on that flag while playing to this elevated green. Going with the eight iron here. And this is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. Steady on. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Trailing by seven after that hole. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Well, I like the look of the line here. You should find the fairway. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Yep, that shot safely on the green. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. It's about a 23 foot putt from here, guys. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, so close. Just three feet to the cup. Nicely hold. And for par. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage.
Always exciting when you stand up on the tee on a short par four. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Setting up in the bunker here. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Good we'll look at Birdie here. Gets it to go down. Wow, what a save. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot at the 11. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well played, mate. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt to move into the top five. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. He's in a share of fifth position. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Time for the second shot at the 12. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. This part to get to seven under the card. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Just didn't drop. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, they've certainly got the swing and a groove. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to seven under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Opting for the five iron. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Hey, nice looking line. Man, that putt will end up short. This is, I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. Currently at seven under for the tournament. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Good looking shot this. 
Second shot here on the 15th. Opting for the six iron. This one might need to get down a little. That's some good golf right there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Shame it didn't drop. You'll happily just go ahead and tap that in. We'll take a tap in any day for par. He's currently tied for sixth. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Well, a little off the target with that one. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Job done. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. You've arrived at a par five. That one's heading down Broadway. Time for the second shot at the 17th. The interesting choice of the driver here. That's an awful error. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Not bad. And this is a 20-footer. He finds himself currently in fifth. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Sitting at eight under. Currently in the fifth position. Looks to be going with the six iron. This would be a great up and down. Didn't that look good for a long time? Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. That starts off on a good line. And that signs off on today's round. And as this round comes to a close, he finds himself in fifth position. Absolutely, Luke. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.
UK Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? This player currently in the top five, but let's face it, he has got a lot of work left if he wants to try and chase down those ahead of him. They are playing some good golf. He's got room to make up. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. From around 180 yards out. Well, this is bold. Their eyes are opening up. Headed for the green. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Ooh, it would be nice to make this putt. This is for Regal. Oh, just missed. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. That's not under par for the event. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Now, come on, you're better than that. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice line. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. That's not the outcome they were after. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. You like that, didn't you? Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Solid power putt, that. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Well, this should find the short grass. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Hasn't managed to birdie this hole this week. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Ooh, that almost went down. And this puck coming up for his par. This one's online. Well done. Just two shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped.
don't over club when playing to a green well below your feet it's always a smart play to club down a bit well they'd love a little bounce to the right here Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two-putt here is still good. Ouch, that hurts. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently has a share of second place. Here we are at the sixth hole. Looks to be going with the four iron. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Putting for birdie. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Only two shots off the pace. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor could have been worse made birdie on the last looking for a second in a row here it's tracking Ooh, right by the hole and it's just about three feet away yeah well hold let's move on to the next trailing by a few shots after that hole Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. What a year with five victories already this season. And choosing the eight iron here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Oh, well, looking like around 35 feet to the cup. Okay, steady now. Opportunity to make their par. This one started out on a good line. Well hold. Now at 11 under for the event. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Lovely effort, that. Isn't this where they hit from yesterday? Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Going with the six iron here. Just needs this one to kick right. Good shot there. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Frustrating. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. 
And in it goes for the par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Luke, that swing was just south of awful. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Well, Luke, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Oh, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. A good stroke. Oh, I love a player with big heart. You've showed plenty there. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Trailing by five shots after that hole. We have a par five on this one. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. <laughs> Wonderfully played. Hold this putt, and you'll become second on the leaderboard. Remember, putting's a finesse game. You get a share of second if you can make this putt. Get excited. This could go in. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Uh, it never feels nice. A three-putt par here. He's going to share a third place. Quite often the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. The spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Going with the eight iron here. Nicely done. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole, this tournament. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Sitting at minus 11 overall. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Good shot there. This putt coming up is for birdie. Was well, that a good line? He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And down it goes. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Going with the four iron here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Yes. 
Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Now five strikes behind. This hole is a long par four. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Time for the second shot at the 15. Looks to have chosen the 7 iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? From where he is, I'm thinking 28 feet. Oh, so close. Okay, that hole's behind you now. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here we are in front of a par three. It's like they're going with the pitching wedge. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Trailing by four strokes. Here we have a par five. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 17th hole. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Putting for Eagle here. In a house. That's not your best effort. And here we are with their four. Four strokes off the lead. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Gotta say his short game is phenomenal and down it goes let's head to the next he currently shares fourth position all right one more hole to go let's see how you handle the 18th mm -hmm. a thing of beauty lining up from around 160 yards Five shots off the pace. Going with the seven. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green, then a chance to hold your putt. 13 feet to the cup. 
this one's dialed in. Gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. Okay, Rich, just around the play now. An exciting finish we've got coming up. Luke, tomorrow, final, final. Can't wait. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Sports delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Here we are at the Genesis Invitational, one of the top events each year on the schedule. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth, and Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? In the top five, starting the final round, so it's been a good week but it will only be a successful week if they get the win come day's end. Lots of golf we've played and some good opportunities ahead. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Well, well played. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Well done. Take the birdie. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. He finds himself currently in fourth. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. This shot is about 140 yards out. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one needs to kick left. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving them in the right direction. Ooh. And that should secure the par. Well done. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. What a bad line, this one. Needs this one to kick right. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. Just a simple tap in for power on this one. Currently 14 under for the event. 
Let's see what happens here on the fourth. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Going with the hybrid. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Looking for the draw, but not finding it. Lovely touch. Well played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Ah, bugger. A bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. We've arrived at a par four. Second shot here on the fifth. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Fair effort, that. Good Birdie. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Opting for the five wood. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And that will drop in for birdie. Kind of like it. Two in a row. Now four back after that hole. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. Absolutely flushed. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Going with the pitching wedge here. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And he needs this to save par. Good putt, that. He's currently tied for four. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. That is right down the sprinkler line. to have opted for the eight iron and should find the surface luke that did not end up where you said it was going to it's in the rough playing their fourth shot four shots behind our leader mm -hmm. Straight out of the top draw. Judging it beautifully. So close to the par, but a bogey it will be. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. 
This hole here is a par four. That one's right out of the top drawer. Well, I've had a greens are always difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. Opting for the six iron. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. A bit short with that effort. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy to be back on the green. Let's see if he can make this. Keep the par on the card. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for bogey. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we have a short par four. Do you get after it or find another way to navigate down the hole? They are trailing it, heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. That's in the sand. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Okay, so that's step one. But now I'm gonna hold a mid-range putt. Good looking putt. Nice one, fourth booty of the day. Now seven shots behind after that. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Well, that's a handy shot. Second shot here on the 11th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Getting ready to play their third. This one's for birdie. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently 15 under par for the event. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Oh, that is crushed. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Our current leader is up by three shots. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, now you just got to pray for good luck because that one's heading towards the sand. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, almost went in. Five feet coming up to the cup. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yeah, a quality shot that. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. This one's looking good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. 
Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. effort that one playing this shot from around 120 yards straight down wind tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green but not a bad approach will be putting slim chance here for birdie but you never know and john uh, how long's this putt it seems to be a fair way well guys 39 feet to go Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes in the hole the whole way. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Trailing by five shots after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Going with the eight iron here. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Oh, just missed. Can make this one. It's for par. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, you'll take that. He currently sits in third position. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Looking better. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Well, it's come down to this. The final hole. Welcome to the 18. That should find the fairway. struck and this putt is for a final score of 65 and with that putt that'll bring his tournament to a close that was a solid performance don't you think it was a very well-timed performance as well gotta say hats off to the player they performed very admirably well on behalf of myself Luke Elby and Rich Beam thanks for tuning in catch you tomorrow
2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Hello, Luke. Hello, Rich, and hello to the folks at home. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Mr. Palmer has certainly cultivated a fine course here over the years, and uh, this first hole is a beauty, starting out with a dog leg to the left and heading towards a green that is bunkered seemingly everywhere you look. Got to be interesting to see how the players attack this today. Can't wait to see what goes down here. Let's do this. Oh, what a wonderful bunker shot. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Starting the round at even par. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a little wayward. Not taking enough club to get it there. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. Just six feet between here and the hole. And the putt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Teeing off here at the third hole. That looks to be a fair way finder to me. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. What an opportunity to make a birdie. I don't mind the look of this. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Some lovely momentum for this player. Moving up the leaderboard. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That should find the cut stuff. Sitting at minus one. Currently in fourth position. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Yeah, that one will play. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. That's tiny. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to two under. Matthew Fitzpatrick is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. John's down on the course. And do you have a better look at this lie? Sitting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. Getting ready to play their third. Three behind our leader. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Yeah, well done. Matthew Fitzpatrick finds him two shots ahead of the field. Teeing off now on a short par five.
Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the sixth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one looks like it's going right. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, this would be a good putt to hold and a chance for second place. Just hammer that through the line. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And there it is. And with that, we'll move to three under par. Matty Fitzpatrick currently in the lead. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the hybrid. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Currently at minus three for the event. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Oh, well done. From around 140 yards here, just a stroke behind the leader. to have opted for the eight iron. Wow, what a shot. Ooh, can share the lead here if you can hold this putt. The putt is underway. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. He's currently tied for first. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that's well played and a chance for birdie here at the ninth. This putt is of nine feet. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Okay, let's head to the next. Matthew Fitzpatrick, our leader in this one. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. No harm, no foul there with that shot. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. Out a boy, good shot. 16 feet to the cup. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Just didn't drop. Putting for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. 
Matthew Fitzpatrick is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the 11th. That one's heading down Broadway. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This looks like around 26 feet. Ooh, right by the hole. Just three feet to the cup. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And that young English talent, Matthew Fitzpatrick, currently leads this field. Welcome to this par five hole. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the 12th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This one's going to the right. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead. Yep, tip yourself a pat on the back. Good look at a birdie here. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 13th hole. I've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. Yeah, you'll take that. Good birdie. And that will take him to six under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. And looking for the fade, but finding the straight shot. Not good. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. I like the look of this. Nicely hold. And for par. And after that hole, leading Matthew Fitzpatrick by a stroke. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This hole is a par five. This hole is so gettable. 
they're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. And it's heading to the bunker for sure. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? No, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Getting ready to play their third. Well played, mate. To a nine-foot chance here. This one's looking good. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Still in the lead now after that hole. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's just inside the range. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. Ouch, that hurts. And that should secure the par. Well done. Sitting at minus eight for the day. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Playing from around 150 yards here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Left yourself an opportunity. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. And there you have it, folks. At the end of the opening round, they find themselves in top spot. Not bad, eh, Rich? Not bad whatsoever, but still, just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at the top of your form. Your game is good. Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? Small leads are no fun because you think that you should win, you kind of expect to win, but you know that there's some good golf that must be played to get you over the line. I gotta say, small leads are just uncomfortable. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, guys, originally I didn't think it would be that bad, but it's kind of got itself deep down into this first cut here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, nicely played. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, so close. 
pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Ooh. This is a bogey putt coming up. And that's their first bogey of the event. He's currently sitting in first place. Starting off with the bogey at first, not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. I'd be booking in for some lessons if I was swinging it like that. Down the deep rough. Yeah, this will take a big hack to get out here. Yes, difficult light. Made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. You liked that, didn't you? 11 feet to the cup. Go on. Get in the hole. That's well hold. And after that hole, you've got Cooch by a shot. It's time to begin this powerful hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. From around 120 yards here. Is that right? I don't think so. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. And that puddle drop. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here at the four. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Sitting at minus seven. Currently in top spot. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. Well, you can hand that sandwich back to the caddy and reach for the putter. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. That was a gallant attempt. 